Hi. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a dream that I had. I had this dream in December th 2009. It was on the 26th of December 2009. How the dream began, I don't remember exactly. But what I do remember is the impact it had on me and how the dream ended. Now, I was at school, the same school I'm, I'm still attending, and what happened was that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it began to snow, and this snow was different, it was unlike any winter, but it wasn't exactly winter season, and it began to snow, and it got so cold that glaciers appeared everywhere everybody was in panic when glaciers start appearing everybody began to panic because the glaciers appeared in one day in other words the temperature got so cold that in one day everything turned to glacier and people were panicking the buses we we went to the bus stop we were at school uh, that day and uh, we went to the bus stop. The bus came. The whole system was malfunctioning, you know. Everything got chaotic. And the bus came and people were getting on the bus. And the, the bus got too full, so I couldn't get on that bus. So I was waiting for the next one. Then the next one came in. And as I was about to board the bus, I just realized that, you know what? No, let me back off this one. And then as the bus was leaving, I read that there was something bigger coming. Now, I was quite shaken by then. When I saw the collision myself, I was extremely scared. And then I look up at the sky and I saw this giant star coming at full speed and straight right to the earth. Like BAM! Next to our location, close, close by. The earth shook. Everything got chaotic. But it wasn't the fact that a star came from heaven to strike the earth that scared us. What really, really terrified us was the fact that hell was open. Just like that. Bam. Hell was wide open. It was the most terrifying experience I've ever had. At least that's what I thought that day. So when I got up, I was so scared. I woke up in sweat. And I said to myself, really, if I have this kind of vision ever again in my life, I'll come back and I'll lay down my bed and I'll kill myself. Because that's how radical and that's how extreme the situation that I was put in was. It was extremely, it was extremely, should I say, full of wrath, violence. Now, how the dream began, like I say, I don't remember, but that's how the dream ended. And I woke up in sweat. The whole bed was covered, it was wet. Everything was wet. And I said to myself, if I see this again, I'll kill myself. Now that tells you what kind of a Christian I was because even though I was a disciple of Jesus Christ, death was my only way out. And this is just to warn you. I am not here to sell you fear. I am not interested in that. This earth everything is about to end Jesus is coming very very soon very 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 soon and I want to tell you that it is going to be cold the global the global warming nonsense they're giving you they're selling you fear it's nonsense so that you all can go green well the news is we all might get be caught in fire 
so we all might burn up. So I am warning you, turn away from your sins today. Go to Jesus. So that when that star strikes, you may not die. Because those who die in war, they are the sinners. Righteous people, they don't die in war. God warns them through His Spirit, tell them, go left or go right. Like it is written in the book of Isaiah. So I'm warning you again. This war is again is, is between God and mankind. And he said himself that all the blood of the prophet from Abel to John the Baptist will be required of us. It is not a joke. Something is coming. It is big. It is very, very big. And I hope you are ready for the coming of the Lord. That's all I can tell you. I cannot tell you about rapture. If you believe in the rapture, that's your own problem. Believe in Jesus first. Get to know the person. Try to know the person. I mean, be desperate enough to know him. That's the only way. So, as you hear this, let this be a wake-up call to you. So, forget about all this. Get on your knees and beg fast. He will, he will fly out to you. May Jesus bless you.